No cross of God, no lights, no nothing. All these cars, they won't stop, they won't slow down, they won't do nothing. We stood on Marlboro Pike in front of Hall Elementary School as it let out and watched kids struggle to get across the very busy street. It was, it was a whole lot of traffic going back. You scared? There were no traffic lights and no crossing guards at this point. They need to put a light crossing guard or something because I value these. And this, this, this is just ridiculous. This is the worst street. This is this curve right here. Accidents yeah. every, every day, it seems like. And look as this parent steps out in traffic, raises her hand to stop cars so a group of children could cross on their way home. This has parents hopping mad. I talked to Jack Johnson today. He told me to give him some time. We don't have time. School opened up today. His time was, their time was, what, months ago. The county's policy that requires children who live within a few blocks of their school to walk to school, parents say, doesn't work. And at the brand new Suitland Elementary, another problem. Parents are also upset their kids have to walk through a crime hot zone. The area between Homer, Hudson, and Huron streets are filled with abandoned apartment complexes that parents say attract drug trade and violence. This was the frightening scene on the first day of school at Hall Elementary as our camera caught scores of little children on their way home, dodging traffic, trying to cross busy Marlboro Pike in front of their school. What a difference a day and our story yesterday on Hall Elementary makes. Today, as children and parents were going to and coming home from Hall Elementary, they were greeted by police officers, crossing guards, teachers, warning signs, all helping them get safely across Marlboro Pike. This morning when I dropped them off, it felt good. The County Department of Public Works was even out speeding up work on a new traffic light on Pacific Avenue at the crosswalk in front of the school. And as school let out, teachers and police were directing kids and parents to that crosswalk. It's like an improvement. You have two police officers at the top of the hill then you have a police car down at the bottom of the hill. So it seemed like someone got the message. No chaos today, a safer, more orderly exit, but as kids walked up Marlboro Pike away from school, another dangerous spot. Look at how the sidewalk just ends. So I got to wonder every day, okay, did they make it past this little stop? 